We are entering the era of 3D and holographic computing, and there was definitely no shortage of 3D and holographic displays at CES. Uh, here's one that you see right now. This is made by Kinomo. Uh, it is a 3D holographic display. Now, it's actually not true 3D because if you walk around it, the perspective doesn't change. However, they do a great job in tricking your eyes to thinking this is a true 3D hologram that they're projecting. Basically what it is, it's a bunch of light sticks uh, that are spinning around super fast. You can see here in a video that I shot with a different frame rate, you can actually see the light sticks kind of spinning around. Uh, but overall, really, really good job. Now to get around the issue of having it not just be a flat screen that doesn't change as you walk around it, you need uh, facial or some sort of eye tracking technology and that's exactly what this other company called Hololamp has done. They actually track your eyes, they track your face and they project, there's a, a, an actual lamp that projects down a holographic image onto your table and as you look around it, as you walk around it, the projection actually changes so it appears that what you're looking at is a hologram. So this is actually the 3D holographic chest that was shown in the Star Wars movie. Really cool actually, in real life uh, it, it doesn't look bad at all. Again, it's not a true 3D projection. The best you can get right now as far as 3D projection goes is to use augmented reality glasses such as the HoloLens. As far as I'm aware, there's no true 3D projectors out there, but there are lots of technologies that come close and you can expect to see a lot more in the coming years. So as I said in the beginning, 3D and holographic computing is about to explode and I cannot wait for the future that we're going to live in. There you go, just a quick peek at some of the holographic displays. Uh, be sure to like this video, subscribe if you haven't already, and thank you very much for watching.